Brandon here with iFast University. Today we just wanted to make a quick video about something that we started here at iFast a few months ago that's grown really, really rapidly. And that's our conditioning challenge. So each month we kind of make a ridiculous workout, workout that's fairly safe for clients uh, that's helped build a community in our gym. So what you're gonna see here is how we have our conditioning challenge set up as well as how we keep points to keep score for everybody throughout each month. Uh, it's a great way to help build a community in the gym as well as to get your clients to push themselves maybe to a new level that they haven't found in their workouts before. Really do this for three big reasons. The first is it helps build a community. Right, we have 15, 20 clients up here that they have something to bond over now when they come in here. Right, so before the workout, during the workout, after the workout, they can say, hey, you did the, ch you did the challenge. I saw that, you did great. Um, I know it sucked, it sucked when I did it, and now we have this group suffering, uh, but it brings people together in the gym. The second reason we have the challenge is a lot of our new clients or people that maybe just aren't comfortable in the gym have a hard time pushing themselves when they come in. So they're coming in and working out, and we see they're working maybe on the other side, they're going through their individualized programs, and they really don't know what hard is for them yet. Um, then they can come over here and say, hey, I know Kathy, I see her in the gym all the time, I gotta try and beat Kathy right or whoever it is on our board so this gives all of our clients a way to maybe push themselves to find a new level of working that they haven't got to before lastly our third reason that we came up with the challenge uh, kind of goes with our first one of building a community but now we have this competition throughout the entire month before we change the workout at the end of the month so i know there's four or five people up here right now that they saw hey I got knocked off the leaderboard up here. I got to try this again this week so I can get back up there. Um, now we have people that are coming in pushing themselves multiple times a week throughout the month. And I think it's a really good thing for the community and individuals here at iFast. Something else that I really like about this is clients can come up, write their own name down as soon as they're done and they can actually knock people off this leaderboard here. So for example, Gwen went, she messed up and didn't knock Momo out here, but she can take her little whiteboard slate off on velcro it take monica down and she puts herself up there at the after she's done with it okay so we talked about why we have the challenge here at ifast uh, now we're going to talk about how we decide to actually structure the workout so every month this board get e gets erased all these names and times get erased and we have a new workout with a new theme to it every month so actually tonight this board's going to get erased we're going to have the may workout up all these names will get erased and it'll start clean for the next month so last month's theme was 200, and our clients had to do 200 reps of the following five exercises. Wall balls, tire flips, floor presses, kettlebell clean and presses, and a sprint down and back the length of our gym. The only stipulation they had was they had to do at least 20 of each of those five exercises. So the other 100 reps, they got to choose. They could play to their strengths and try to strategize. Um, and it actually got more people to participate in this one multiple times throughout the past month. For example, Lance, who a lot of you guys are familiar with, is one of our trainers here, actually went through the challenge three times, I believe. Uh, the first two times he did all right, he came up with a new strategy each time, kind of learned from his mistakes. And the third time he went through it, he actually shaved three minutes off his time and has the fastest time up here. He's just not on top of the leaderboard, so we leave that for the clients. All right, so exercise selection for our challenge each month is we try to pick exercises that are really hard to mess up, that our clients that have been here even for just a month or two, they're pretty familiar with these big exercises. Um, even if they do need a little coaching, it won't take more than five or 10 minutes to get them to where it's clean enough that they're not risking injury anymore, right? So again, this month we picked wall balls, tire flips, floor presses, and sprints, uh, and some kettlebell stuff all of which are pretty easy. We can teach to somebody in five, 10 minutes if they're new, um, and they can actually participate in this challenge even in their first month of being here. All right, so the last part of this is how we keep score for the clients every month to do the challenge. Uh, anybody that walks in here and completes the challenge is able to finish it no matter how long it takes them, is able to throw their name and time up here and actually score one point for that month. And then at the end of every month, we look at the top five and the first place will get six points, five, four, three, and two points all the way down. Um, and then every quarter, so every three months, we're able to add up the points and individualize a winner and individualize a prize for them. So for example, we had another lady that did something similar to this, another one of our challenges, who she loves the rock. So we bought her a life-size cutout of the rock and she places it around the gym now. She might hug it in the morning, whatever she does with it, uh, it's her own business. But it gives them a little more incentive to keep, keep going with the challenge, keep pushing themselves every month and stay involved.
Thanks for checking out the video about the iFast conditioning challenge that we started implementing. Uh, if you know somebody that this could be helpful to or you really liked it, feel free to share the video. If you have other ideas or you're doing something similar to this, comment below. Let us know what your, what your ideas are. And if you want more information like this, you thought this was helpful, go to www.ifastuniversity.com.